kikubor ka batisi tv lawan ra shapi dak orange nisan lum so pho ni fabric at shillong ringkat bat ka m crown hotel khandai lat shillong ka three olives restaurant bla pli nak ban taban shakriya phi habo ka jingada jong ka bio bubble antivirus coating ringkat ka cosmic kingdom ka jakai le kai bapa ha shillong bla ya da nak ka bio bubble antivirus coating bla le da ka meva enterprise U MLA jong ka sang Congress u Zenit Sangma ula ong ba ka jingkren jong ulat ka jella u Satyapal Malik ba ka jing pentrai kam ye ka inline permit ha ka jella Meghalaya ka song hakikti jong ka sarkar pedeng amtang ha ka mon jong ka sarkar jella ha ba penpao ba ka ain ban yada ye ki traishnong red pat ka jella ka dai bandon u Zenit Sangma ula ong ba la ka long ha ka nugo nugo dur Henry ka jella Meghalaya ka dai bandon ye ka ain ka ba yesrem ba ka inline permit Da ka ba pinkin maru ba ka sorkar kongres ha po ka jingyalam jong u Dr. Mukul Sangma kum u Menteri Rangba ka la thao da ka anja da mender ya ka ba la tip kum ka Meghalia Resident Safety and Security Act ya ka ba la penlong anj ha usnem arajar khat nreo. Ha ba kentho apat halor ka jingwan ra ya ka jingpen baj thamma ya ka ni ka anj da ka sorkar MDA ha po ka jingyalam jong u Konrad Kongkel Sangma u Zenit Sangma u la ong ba ka long ka ba ba kelas sebab palat Namar ba khlem da pentrai kam shwa ye ka ain ngin nam tim hadu katnu kan yatakho bat ka yeng bishar uh, to that extent whatever he has said is correct because uh, so long we also have been saying that since implementation of inner land permit is not within the uh, jurisdiction of the state government we should come up with certain mechanism where uh, in the similar way as there is ILT we can regulate and protect the interest of the indigenous citizens of the state of Meghalaya. and therefore uh, during our uh, Congress government under the leadership of Dr. Mukul Sangma as the Chief Minister we have come up with legislation of Meghalaya Residence Safety and Security Act. This is a very comprehensive and very strong law. And the bill was prepared in such a way wherein we can avoid the judiciary intervention from any court of law. The entry exit point has been named as facilitation center. This facility, facilitation center is to facilitate the visitors and this is for the benefit and for the protection of the visitors as well and also uh, the residents of the state of Meghalaya. And it is serving as that of inner land permit only in the entry exit point. And to implement it expeditiously, that task force committee was a task, task force was uh, constituted also in all the districts wherein the DC is the chairman and under the labor department in all 29 blocks 29 labor inspectors were appointed and our demand is this present government of the day should, without wasting any precious time, implement this Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act 2016 in its original form. And contrary to that, the present government, the MDA government under the leadership of Khamed Sangma, they try to amend they have brought it 
brought the amendment to the house, passed it and sent for the assent of the governor and it has stuck up there. Because any clause in the law which will attract the judicial intervention of the court of the law will actually affect in the early implementation of the law or in other words in taking off in the process of implementation of this law. That was the mistake. Our rather it should have been that in its original form this particular law should have been uh, implemented and why it is more beneficial than any other law uh, under ILP, the provision of ILP, people will be uh, scrutinized in the entry point, hmm, all the entry points. But under Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act 2016, it is there to scrutinize people in the entry exit point and also within the step, the entire step, there is mechanism, strong mechanism, wherein detection of any person who is residing, not being the original residents of the state of Meghalaya, is residing within the state of Meghalaya. So, anybody, whether it is house owner, landlords, if they are renting out their house or part of the land, then who is occupying in their land or house, the house owner will have to furnish the information to the authority, local authority as well as the government authority within 15 days of occupying. And if, if they fail, there is a strong law, one can be prosecuted. So there here, the information will have to be submitted to the local authority. Local authority here means the traditional hats, the traditional institutions, which is very beautifully uh, in the place. It is in place. And government authority. Then after every three months, this local authority and the government authority uh, combined will have to submit to the government. So if this particular law is implemented in totality, where is the scope of any uh, influx or any outsider to hide somewhere in the state of Meghalaya? This is very strong law. So therefore, our demand is without wasting any precious time. The government of the present day should go ahead in implementation of this Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act 2016 in its original form and subsequently they should pursue the simultaneously rather they should pursue the Indian government for inner land permit also. Thank you.